and my fellow friends. Today, I'm going to tell you a story about the beggar. One day, a rich carpenter and his family were having their dinner. Suddenly, there's a knock on their front door. The carpenter opened the door and saw a beggar. Please, sir, may I have some food? I've not eaten anything the whole day. I'll do anything you ask in return for some food. Said the beggar. Go away, shouted the carpenter. I've neither food nor work for you. And he slammed the door shut. The next day, the beggar continued going from house to house. Asking for food and work. Most of the people refused to open their doors when they saw the beggar through their windows. They pretended not to have hurt him. Others chased him away angrily. The beggar then went to a village and reached a small wooden house. He knocked on the door and asked for food. The man who opened the door was a friendly man. He invited the beggar into his house. Please come in. We are poor and do not have much food. But we are happy to share whatever food we have with you. Said the poor man. After eating, the happy beggar thanked the kind man and his family. A few days later, there's a knock on the kind man's house. He opened the door and was rather surprised to see the king's man. It's the king's birthday today and his royal highness wants to see you. You must leave with us now, explained the man. The poor man thought that he had offended the king and was afraid she would be punished. However, he must obey the king's order. So he left for the palace in a great fear. Finally, he just the king's palace. The king asked the poor man, Do you recognize my son, the prince? I'm sorry, your majesty. The prince looked familiar, but I don't think I've seen him before. My good man, said the prince, we have met before. I'm the beggar whom you've been kind. My father told me to travel through the neighborhood. Disguised as a beggar, so that he could reward the person on his birthday. That's right. Although you are poor, yet you are kind to share whatever food you have with my son. You deserve a reward. I've prepared a nice house for you and your family. I'm also giving you a job in my palace so that you and your family can live in comfort for the rest of your life. The poor man worked happily in the palace for many, many years. The other people who heard about the kind man reward learned their lesson. Have learned their lesson. The moral of the story is people and things are not what they seem like to be. Thank you.